Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back with a video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys 10 very cheap diamond cards that are really, really good in NBA 2K19, my team. Now, a couple days ago, I did upload 10 very cheap pink diamonds in NBA 2K19, my team. You guys showed a lot of support on that video. A lot of you guys did want to see a video where I tell you guys the 10 diamond cards are very, very cheap in my team that are really good. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video today. I read you guys' comments, saw a lot of you guys want to see that video, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, if this video does help you, make sure you guys do smash the like on the video, crush the like button on this video. Let's see if we can smash 1,000 likes on this video. Now, every single diamond player that I do tell you guys is obviously very, very good. And also very, very cheap. I set a cap at 10,000 MT. None of these cards on this list go for more than 10,000 MT. And all these guys, like I said, are just simply beasts. Very, very dominant cards. They were like the best cards in the game a few months ago, three to four months ago. But now, obviously, because there is opals and pink diamonds in the game, the prices and their value a little bit drop. But they're still very, very good cards. So for those of you guys rocking out on the budget squad, or for those of you guys who are on like a 10,000 MT, 20,000 MT, MT cap, these are some guys you guys should consider picking up on your teams. Now, on this list, guys, I try my best to mix it up. I didn't really want to overload and put, like, seven or eight centers and only, like, two guards. I didn't want to overload a small forward and put, like, eight or nine small forwards and only one guard. No big man. I try my best to mix it up on this list. I try my best to get a good amount of guards, forwards, and centers. So, if you guys need, you know, a guard, forward, or center, they will definitely be on this list because I try my best to mix it up and get ten very, very diverse positions. So with that being said, guys, moving on to the first player on this list. We have ourselves a diamond. Signature series, Kobe Bryant. Now, the reason why I did put an emphasis upon a signature series, Kobe Bryant, is because there is two Kobe Bryants in the game right now. We have this throwback elite one, and we have this signature series one. I am not talking about the throwback elite. I'm talking about this one right here, the signature series, 94 overall, Kobe Bryant. This card right here, I believe, is going for around 9,000 MT. Once I filter it, we will find out. I believe around 9,000. Actually, cheaper than 9,000. Looks like he's going for around 8. 8 points. Or he's actually going for 7,000 MT. Wow, that is actually a massive W. This Kobe Bryant's going for 7,000 MT. This Kobe Bryant right here is just simply one of the best value cards in the game. Coming with five total Hall of Fame badges, the best stopper, catch and shoot, mid range, dead eye, tire score, and difficult shots. And then 10 gold badges as well, one of which is gold limitless range. Gold limitless range cost about, you know, 12,000 MT to put on a card. And he already has this card, he already has the badge on himself. So you don't have to worry about putting limitless range on him. Now take a look at the attributes, they're very, very solid as well. 93 driving layup, 90 mid range, 85 three ball, 87 free throw, 95 driving, 92 contact dunk. He gets speed boost at 90 ball control. Great defense, 95 shot contest, 88 steal, very fast and athletic, 93 speed, 89 speed with ball, 96 vertical, 96 lateral quickness. This card right here is a massive W for 7,000 MT. He had to make this list. Moving on to the second player on this list, guys. We have ourselves our first big man, and he is a throwback elite diamond, Zinjunas Ilgauskas. This Andrunas Ogoskis right here is only going for 8.9 thousand MT, and he was one of the best, arguably the best diamond in the game a few months ago. He was going for well over 100, nearly 200 thousand MT, but he dropped obviously because we're later on in the year, and this card right here is standing in at 7 foot 3 inches tall, and the attributes are literally amazing. 97 standing layup, 95 post hook, 96 post fadeaway, 97 open mid range, 92 open shot three, 92 free throw, 90 standing dunk, 70 driving dunk. Amazing defense, 95 block, 97 shot contest, amazing rebounding, 97, 96 offensive and defensive rebound. He's not really that fast, but he doesn't really need to be that fast because he is a pure big man. He has one of the cheesiest releases in the game. On top of that, he could do everything else. Like I said, he's not fast, but that doesn't matter. With his cheesy release and the fact that he can do literally everything else on a court, the speed is not a problem for this card. Moving on to the third player on this list, we have ourselves a diamond throwback elite, Roy Hibbert. I cannot believe that this card right here, this diamond Roy Hibbert, with seven total Hall of Fame badges, is only going for 4.5 thousand MT. On top of that, he's standing in at seven foot two, weighing in at 280 pounds. That is a solid body frame. And like I said, he also does come with seven total Hall of Fame badges. Including brick wall, bruiser, chasing artist, and protector, defensive stopper, hustle rebounder, and putback king. 
Attribute wise for this card, he's literally flawless. 98 standing lamp, a 97 post hook, 89 open mid range, and 80 open shot three with a very, very cheesy and easy release to green. 84 free throw, 95 standing dunk, 80 driving, and 80 contact dunk. Amazing defense as well. 98 block, 97 shot contest, 75 steal. Rebounding is on point. 95 box out, 94 offensive, and a 96 defense rebound. 60 speed, which, you know, for a 7'2 guy, you know, isn't the best, but still, he's one of the tallest players in the game, one of the tallest big men in the game. 75 vertical, 97 stamina, 96 strength. This is where he's right here for 4.5 thousand MT is a steal. Moving on to the fourth player, we have ourselves the first point guard on this list, and he is a diamond Gilbert Arenas. I think this Gilbert Arenas card is going to be the cheapest card on this list because he's going for 2.9 thousand MT. And that is crazy how cheap he's going for because what he can do on a court is ridiculous. First and foremost, I will say this about this card. If you guys don't know already, this card right here has base 11. He has actually the fastest base 11 release in the game. He has the fastest release in a game, there's no doubt about it. Setting it at 6'3", which is a solid height for a point guard. Unfortunately, he has zero Hall of Fame badges. But when it comes to the attributes, great. 92 driving and standing lamp, an 87 mid-range, 89 open shot three, 86 free throw, 85 driving dunk. But this card right here also has a tremendous driving dunk tendency at an 85. So mix it with his tendency and driving dunk attribute and the animation that this card has, he can be throwing down some insane dunks. 92 ball control, which means he can speed boost. 88 shot contest, 75 steal, 95 speed, 95 speed with ball, 95 vertical, 98 stamina, 86 lateral quickness. This card is decent, but it's the base 11 that makes this card really, really good. Now, this fifth player right here, I was really, really surprised that he was going for under 10,000 MT. Here's a throwback playoff moments diamond, Chris Webber. Chris Webber's cheapest price up on an auction block right here is 8.5 thousand MT. 94 overall diamond, coming with only two Hall of Fame badges, which are Hustle Mounter and Pick and Roller. But I really feel like this card right here is nearly just as good as a Pink Diamond. I did a gameplay on this card right here, and I don't know if I did a gameplay on a Pink Diamond, but I did use a Pink Diamond, and they literally feel like the exact same card. We take a look at the attributes. 94 standing, 87 driving lamp, 88 mid range, 84 open three ball, 90 free throw, 85 driving dunk, 75 contact dunk, and an 86 free throw. Really, really good ball control for a power forward at a 70. 93 block, 96 shot contest, 85 steal. 92 offensive and a 92 defensive rebound for a 6 foot 9 power forward is really, really good. 80 speed, 95 stamina, 83 lateral quickness, 93 strength. Like I said, this card right here literally felt just as good as a Pink Diamond. You're pretty much getting a Pink Diamond Chris Webber for 8.5 thousand MT if you decide to get this card. And also, the release for him is amazing. Very, very easy release to green and it's very, very fast as well. Moving on to the sixth player on his list. He is a shooting guard. He is a signature series, Michael Jordan. Now, in case you guys don't know, we have two Diamond Michael Jordans in the game. We have the Flight School one right here and also the signature series one right here. I'm not talking about this flight school one. This signature series diamond Michael Jordan is the one I'm talking about. Signature series MJ looks to be going for around 7.4 to 5,000 MT. He's a Michael Jordan card with nine Hall of Fame badges. That's the main reason the difference between these two cards. This one and this one right here. This flight school Michael Jordan only has one Hall of Fame badge. While this signature series MJ for the same price has nine. And that's the main difference between these two cards right here. This Don Michael Jordan has nine Hall of Fame badges for around the same price as this Flight School one has, and the Flight School only has one Hall of Fame badge. But the nine Hall of Fame badges that this card right here has, which is the one I'm talking about, this in your series Michael Jordan, who's on the list, are one man fast break, mid range denite, pick and roll maestro, and then his finisher, difficult shots, acrobat, posterizer, Tyler score, touch and shoot. And those are the nine Hall of Fame badges, which are amazing. And attribute wise, right here, he's very, very solid. 96 driving and standing layup, a 93 mid range, 80 open shot three, 85 free throw, 90 driving, and 85 contact dunk. 86 ball control, which means he could speed boost, 86 shot contest, 85 steal, 89 speed, 88 speed with ball, 94 lateral quickness, 98 stamina. And on top of that, guys, this Michael Jordan has the same animations as the Gallus Global Michael Jordan. So he has all the free throw line dunks, the up and under Michael Jordan, the easy release to green. He has all of the real MJ animations. On to the seventh player on this list, we have ourselves a stretch big man who's a power forward. He is a diamond Lori Markkinen. This Lori Markkinen right here goes for 10,000 MT, and honestly, this card right here is pretty much 
and athletic Dirk Nowitzki. He's setting in at seven foot, coming with six total Hall of Fame badges, including catch and shoot, corner specialist, mid range did I, pick and popper, deep range did I, and difficult shots. And the attributes for this card right here are like Dirk Nowitzki, but he's athletic. 97 standing layup and 84 driving layup, 96 post fadeaway, 92 post hook, 96 open mid range, 96 open shot three, 96 free throw, 90 driving dunk, but 75 driving and 75 contact dunk. And he also does come with a 95 driving dunk tendency, which is very, very important and very, very solid. It's almost like him having a 95 driving dunk. We take a look at the ball control. It's decent for a power forward at a 65. 88 block, 92 shot contest. Rebounding is very, very good. 97 box out, 95 offensive, and 97 defense rebound. 92 speed, excuse me, 72 speed. 72 speed is what, is what Lloyd Marketing comes with. 95 stamina, 95 hustle. He also comes with an 85 strength, which is pretty solid. Defensive consistency at an 80, 95 offensive consistency. Like I said, there's no other way to put it. This Lloyd Marketing is an athletic Dirk Nowitzki. On to the eighth player on this list, we have ourselves a lockdown defender. He is a Diamond Kawhi Leonard. Now, there are two Diamond Kawhi Leonards, as you guys can see right here, but honestly, they play and they're pretty much the exact same card. They have the same Hall of Fame badges. They nearly have the same exact attributes. The only difference is that there's a slight price difference between the two. The Spurs is going for 2,000 MT more. And if you guys are asking me which one would I rather have, I would rather have this Playoff Moments Kawhi Leonard for the Toronto Raptors because of the fact that he's cheaper and they're literally the exact same card. This card right here comes with three total Hall of Fame badges, including Pickpocket, Defensive Stopper, and mid range Deadeye. And when it comes to the attributes, very solid as well. 90 standing and driving layup, 90 mid-range, 85 open shot three, 90 free throw, 90 driving, and 90 contact dunk. 86 ball control, which means he gets speed, boost, defense is off the charts. 80 block, 96 shot contest, 95 steal. He's very, very athletic, 92 speed, 85 speed with the ball, 97 lateral quickness, 88 vertical, 95 defensive, 90 offensive consistency. This card right here is, I think, the one you should get for the Toronto Raptors. It's Kawhi Leonard. Has to make the list being one of the top elite lockdowns in the game. On to the ninth player on this list, we have ourselves another elite lockdown defender going for under 10,000 MT. He is a throwback elite diamond, Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala right here is only going for 8.3 thousand MT, is the cheapest, and he's sitting on the option block, which means he probably goes for less than that. But this Andre Iguodala made the list not because he doesn't have any Hall of Fame badges, that's not the issue for this card. He made the list because of the animation and the, his defensive ability on the court, which is amazing. He has one of the best dunking animations in the game. He gets insane contact dunks. His defense, it literally feels like he's moving on a treadmill. Like he's moving side to side on a treadmill very, very, very fast. Like he literally does side to side on a 20 mile an hour treadmill. That's how fast it feels like this man moves on the court. Take a look at the attributes for this card, amazing. 94 standing, 90 driving layup, 90 mid range, 88 open shot three, 96 driving, and a 90 contact dunk with an 80 free throw as well. 88 ball control, which means he gets speed boost. 93 shot contest, 96 steal, 94 speed, 89 speed with ball. For this card coming out in, I'd say, I think November, he is still one of the greatest diamond cards in the game. Moving on to the 10th and final player on this list, he is a pure sharpshooter who goes by the name of Joe Harris. Joe Harris right here is going for 12,000 MT, but a couple days ago he was going for under 10,000 MT. I think it's just the time of the day I'm recording this video is why he's going for more than 10,000 MT. But this card right here is amazing. First and foremost, I will say this. They gave this card base eight. Basically base eight is the same jump shot that Brandon Roy had. It's that very, very cheesy park release. This Diamond Joe Harris has it, and it comes with four total Hall of Fame badges, one of which is Limitless Range. The other three are Deep Range, Deadeye, Corner Specialist, and Catch and Shoot. Attributes for this card are not only good sharp shooting wise but elsewhere amazing. 95 driving, 84 standing layup, 95 mid-range, 99 open shot three, 99 free throw. Moving on to the ball control, he has an 86 with some very, very cheesy dribble animations, 85 passing accuracy. His defense isn't really the best, nor is rebounding. His speed is pretty good though, 84 speed, 80 speed with ball, 88 lateral quickness, 98 stamina. This Joe Harris card, if you're looking for a sharpshooter, is a must-cop card. 
So yeah, guys, Joe Harris was the 10th and final player who made this list, which means that's going to conclude this video of the 10 diamonds that are very, very cheap in NBA 2K19 my team. Now, in case you guys did miss out on any of the diamonds throughout this video, I will repeat them to you guys. The, all of the 10 players on this list are Diamond Kawhi Leonard, Diamond Kobe Bryant, the signature series version of Kobe, Roy Hibbert, Diamonds and Junior Togalskis, Diamond Andre Iguodala, Diamond Lloyd Marketing, Signature Series, Diamond Michael Jordan, Joe Harris, Gilbert Arenas, and Diamond Chris Webber. Now that officially wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if this video did help you, make sure you guys do consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, drop a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do want to see any other types of top 10 videos or 10 cards are very, very cheap that are gems, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Trust and believe when I say this, guys. I do read and respond to every single comment. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the love. And as always, it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.